Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Bud Games, also known as Rankless Warrior, and today we're going to continue the Super Mario World Let's Play that I've been doing. Back up at Donut Plains 3. Oh, Donut Plains 3 I don't believe has any secrets really. It's just pretty much straight level. There's a vine down there I believe, but it just takes you up to like a Yoshi coin or something. Clouds maybe. Okay, clouds with coins. I was right. Okay, anyway, and there's a Yoshi coin. But it's pretty much a straightforward forward level. There I go again, saying forward instead of forward. Uh, it's like 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. right now. I'm a little tired, like usual, but anyway. Uh, you'll, you'll see some close calls in this. I have a few mess-ups coming up, and it, it's a fun... It, it's still fun to me. I, I can die many times on this, but I'm still going to enjoy playing it. Which I think everybody should. And there we are at the end of this one already. Uh, this video will be a little chopped up. A little skewed, I guess. So I can fit in the rest of the secrets of this level into this video itself to finish up this part. Because I still got to... There's Luigi at the top secret area, which I'm going to show. Which is pretty much a place where you can get a Yoshi. Mushrooms, uh, mushrooms, fire, power, and a cape, which I just usually go double cape. Uh, that's just me. If you like the fire power, go for it, but I find it easier to fly. But we're gonna, first we're going to go back to Donut Plains 2 and get some, get the secret here, which I believe I showed off in the last video where it was, but sometimes it's easier to do it with a Yoshi than it is to kick it up. Because with the Yoshi, you just slurp the shell into your mouth and fly with it. There's no aiming it up and trying to kick it at the box or trying to hit the block. or It's just simpler to me. Maybe I'm just lazy. It's probably that. Probably just lazy. Lazy and impatient. I don't have time to wait. Like, this is why I don't like this level too much. I get impatient when I try to run through it. But it's moving at a set pace and I can't move any faster than the game allows me to. That's my problem with a lot of games, I guess. I want to move, 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 but I can't move. But, there's that green switch that we can't hit anything with yet. That green outline block that's pretty much not there for nothing at the moment. And... And I got out with the other that time. Last time I messed up and died. But there's a secret tunnel. It's the second one. Well, it's the one before the last. I got second for the last then. I believe you can eat those footballs, and this is where I said it was easier just to fly with Yoshi. And there's your key. Your secret key for the Donut Plains 2, the cave place. Which takes you to the Green Switch Palace. So now, once you go in there and hit that switch, all the green blocks will be full. Donut Plains 4 doesn't have any secrets in it either. This video might be a little Luigi heavy, I think. Mainly because, uh, I, like I said before, I'm using Luigi as my secret character. So if there's any secret level, Luigi will be the one going to get it. And if my microphone sounds like crap, I play with the settings every night try to get it right. It just doesn't work sometimes. So I'm trying it, trying to talk lower, which is why I probably sound less energetic than I should. No, don't get me wrong. I love this game, and I'm and I'm excited for this game, and I enjoy playing it. But sometimes it just doesn't come out that way, and I think there was a one-up back there. It's the first block you, question mark block you come to if you hit it from underneath. I believe. And here's the fun part. Jump. Jump. I guess if you jumped on all the turtles, you might get a one-up or something. I, I don't know, I've never actually done that. I, I like to get in and get out, and as you can see, I'm not doing too bad on live. And that's a Yoshi. Now, I've got 22. Wait till you see the rest of the video. The rest of the videos. I can say that because they're pre-recorded. I get better. I get more than that. Like, I have enough to last the entire game, but there's not that much of the game left at that point that I get them all. Come level 4, you'll see big comeback. Like, here, like, look at this. I'm just getting lives after life. I, I, it's at 27. So, I'm pretty good there. 
no secret exit in that level, like I said. Just, I guess, a star if you want one. If you can hit it, because I think it's one of those switch blocks. Or changing blocks. Now back to the green switch pal, so there's no secret here either, but... This one I always have trouble with, so you're going to get to watch me mess up, probably. Take out the coin, or try to. Uh, and you see as I messed up there, what you're supposed to do is let it fall down there and let the guy kick it. And then chase after it. And it should hit all of them for a 1-up. I mess that up usually, I suck at doing that one. Like, there's some ones that I suck at, and I suck at that one pretty bad. And I, I suck at another one coming up, I think it's red, which I really suck at that worse. Alright, I'm bad at some of these. I'm good at the game, I'm bad at some of these types of Switch palaces, though. I think there's only like four. But now there's all your green blocks filled in, and all the green blocks will now contain uh, feathers. Which is good, because to me, that's like the best weapon in this game. And now we're making our way to... I missed it. Did it say Morton's Castle? <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention to it. I go in and I get some get the work done. I prob I'm probably wrong. But we'll find out at the end of this level if I manage to beat it. And yeah, you can kill dry bones with your with your cape. With your your Yes, you can kill dry bones with yourself. Here's impatient me running through this. Falling, jumping back up immediately, waiting, looking up and down, running back and forth, spinning. Yeah. This seems a little rushed. It's not really rushed. I'm just impatient on these levels where I have to wait for things. Like, you should see me do other games that I like playing. Like, it, it takes forever for me to do something if it's moving at a slow pace. I guess it's just me, though. I want to run through it. And I, I like to have fun and run through them. I don't like to wait on things too much. Like, I want constant fun. Keep moving, keep moving. I'm, I'm a weird guy, I guess. But no, uh... Like I said, you can kill the dry bones by twirling your cape around that, or twirling around with your cape. Yeah, and I'm so impatient, I'm just gonna hop in there as a little curled up Mario. And wait for it to go by before jumping on it and jumping on it again. Which, we're at the end of this level already, so... This should be fun, right? This guy, you jump on his head, repeat, uh, like, three times, I think. If you can do it, if you can time it right, you can get it, like, immediately one right after another. But I messed up there. I was gonna... Oh, never mind. I didn't say it, so let's just leave it alone. Well, it does have a mature rating on it. As you can see, I messed up twice. I at least didn't get hit, right? And there I go, looking up. His head actually fits his body now. And there's another castle down. Now, at this point, I'm not sure if it switches to Luigi or not. But I know there's a cut coming up. Because uh, Luigi has the secret levels, so I have to... So I had to cut it up to fit it together better. So that all the levels stayed within each other. Later on, I know... Well, I'll talk about that then. But you'll see where I miss one and have to go back for it later, so... It's very obvious where that cut is. Yeah, Morton's Castle. Go me. And now we enter Vanilla Dome, which I don't think starts on this one. Because I still have some stuff to go through here first. Like, to the ghost house. The, the secret ghost house. Which also has a secret in it. So, let's just get started in this one. It's a pretty normal ghost house. Like I said, this is impatient. Me playing this. Like, if you're, if you're good enough at this, and you can time it, you can slide right through these ghosts as they turn. But, yeah, I'm not going to try that out right now. That's terrible on me. And apparently I thought I missed something and ran back to try to get whatever it was I thought I missed. Which I shouldn't have done. And I think I remember now, oh, there's nothing back there. Apparently I... I'm just dumb. Like, I play these games, and I know these games, but I don't know why I went back. I guess I wanted to make sure I didn't leave anything out of the video. Two exits. There's one in the coins, which you need the P-block for. And there's a vine on the middle one of that, I believe. Like, right here, there's a vine in the middle. But I 
gonna get this other one first. Kick it up, stare at the ghost the entire time, stomp on it, go in the blue door, it appears. And there's your bonus bar for ending the level. That's one exit. Now, see the next exit, which is just as easy. Sorta. Continue and save. Yeah, see, I cut in. So, now, we're back at this ghost house. But you're going to want to do it the exact same way as you did last time, and hopefully you won't play it as bad as I did the first time around. Uh, what you do is you run through all this stuff like normal, and then when you get to the part where I said, hey, there's a vine there in the middle block that goes up, you have to hit it, but you also have to hit the P, because the door up there doesn't appear unless you hit the P switch. Which is, I guess, a pretty neat... Not pretty neat trick, but... Uh, Oh, whatchamacallit. Apparently I'm yawning. Uh, yeah, I, didn't. I guess I missed my cape. A, uh, puzzle, I guess? Would you call it a puzzle? So, at least there's a mushroom in there for me. I don't have to do this small. And I about lose that mushroom anyway, huh? Yeah, there's that first door I said, and now I believe this is the, the next one where I get the vine switch, so... This is... it's pretty easy. You just hit it, quickly go up, and if you hit B, you'll jump up, and you can hold on to it by hitting up, holding up. But it, that door leads you to a boss battle with the big boo. Which what you do is you grab a block and you kick it up at him. Uh, is it three times in a row, I believe? Which uh, apparently I'm not doing too bad here, but I'm usually terrible at this. And... Well, one road, I think, led you to a, uh, to the pipe. I didn't get to look up here like I've been doing. Uh, one leads you to a pipe. I believe this exit leads you to a star road entrance. Or exit, depending on if you're on star road. Yeah, star road. Which is, uh, like, five levels on a, five levels and then, uh, like, five or ten, uh, like, ten more inside of another world as you beat all those. But that's different. This is, uh, the stage in the tunnel exit one, which I don't know why it's all ice. I, I never understood that. Why there's a random ice level? I guess it's cold where this level is located at, which is, like, in, uh... Bowser territory, which doesn't make any sense, because it, it's Bowser. you think it'd be, like, hot or something. And if you jump on all the turtles in a row, you should get a 1-up. See? 1-up. And checkpoint. But this is about the end of this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you next time on Super Mario World Let's Play. Peace out, everybody.